Hey everybody, it's Tia at B5 Designs and welcome to my channel. I wanted to come on and share an actual project haul or project that I made. This baby has been a couple of years in the making. It is a scrapbook that I made for my son. Uh, I don't know what that is. That weird thing is in the way. Um, anyway, that I made for my son for and daughter-in-law for their dog. And I'm going to do my best to um, get this in a good position. I do not like the um, device that I'm using to um, record with. And I am not a aficionado on filming a, either. But this is the album. I picked this up a while ago at um, Hobby Lobby, I believe. And the dog's name was Raleigh, and he was a super sweet doggy. And then on this page, I did um, a picture of him, and I did this thing called Flip Flaps from Close to My Heart. So. I don't know that I did it exactly right, but there are shaker bits in there and their little paws and then blue seed beads on this one. So it does shake, makes it a little interactive. And then when you flip it up, there's another picture of him and it has dog bones in the shaker with some blue seed beads. And then on the strip, I put some red. So there you kind of get to see a little bit of the shaker action and then all of this is just stuff that I've had in my stash sorry for the glare um, this thing I started probably two to three years ago when I was working a night shift so it I couldn't even tell you what products I use to be honest um, just different things that I had in my collection and here is a page with his photo and paw prints and a dog leash and bones. And it says, let's go for a walk. And it feels like, seems like it's sitting in here a little wonky. And I think it's because of what I did when I tried to put the eyelet in. And here's another one, beware cute dog and some paw prints. And this one, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. The glare, um, super cute page. And you know, when I started this, like I said, I was working an overnight shift and was able to take stuff with me and it is not perfection. I prefer to um, actually make my mini albums from start to finish, but for this one, I did this and there's another picture and the background page has fire hydrants on it so you see that and this is really um old paper that i think i got i'm afraid if i adjust too much everything's gonna fall off that i got i don't even know where i got it but i got it a long time ago and Obviously, that says it's a dog's life. Hang on just a minute. I'm going to shut my light off and see if that will take care of some of the glare. And still give you guys a good view. I think it's coming from my window more than anything. And so I'm going to flip the page again. And this one, I just kind of didn't do a whole lot with this page because of all the paw prints. It does say Bow Wow at the top. And then this one, he was such a just really good dog. Um, he was older when they got him. They, he was a rescue. Let me see if I can kind of zoom in on the pictures. And he really just was living his best life, laying around doing nothing. Bow Wow Bark. And this one says cute dog, woof woof. And this is just a piece of ribbon that I had in my stash. And these backgrounds 
I kind of cut with my, I not kind of, I did cut with my Cricut. And because this particular pay, uh, photo is cropped, it is not exactly perfect. This one, I used a little dog bone um, paper clip and added this that was in a sticker pack and I just added it's like a dog ID or whatever and then I did add this um, washi tape or paper tape that I got from Dollar Tree I do remember that but I thought that was a cute one of him sleeping and then this one turned out I think really nice I did a holographic blue bone and then some ribbon I'm not sure if I got the ribbon at Hobby Lobby or not um, and then I had these wood heart buttons and I just threaded thread some black string through there and then I did some more holographic paw prints and the bone and then this page I just did the paw prints in the um, empty spaces of the circles except for that one and then this says er and then bark and then this page I used a bunch of that washi tape that I picked up a couple of weeks ago I think at Michael's and then I used another strip of washi tape from the Dollar Tree and of course I do use um, what do we call it uh, double-sided tape under the washi just to ensure that it sticks and then I had this sticker that said it's a dog thing and then I did this last one and I just put my best friend and then my best friend again on the bottom and then this is just a page that I was made up like it had the dog in the heart and the dog bone in the speech bubble and then I use stickers to put dig good dog I love or the bone and then love companion and unconditional love and then I put his name in there which I see the H came off Ugh, these stickers are my nightmare um, so I will be putting that back in there and then on this page is supposed to be a poem but of course my printer decided to quit. Um, I am gonna go ahead and give, him to, give it to him tonight. And then um, the extra pages are for like his papers and stuff like that that they had for him. So I just wanted to come on and share that with you guys. And I hope you liked it. Oh, I do wanna share that I made this charm dangle and it has his initials or his initial and a red paw print red is kind of the outstanding color I guess I would like I used um, this little doggy on it let's see um, this charm that says I love mom and more paw prints and I made this one night sitting in front of my TV, a dog dish, dog house, lots of paw prints, a bone, and then this winged out, and another R. And then I did make this to go on it as well, but it keeps popping off for some reason. And this is just one of those ribbon dangles so I'm going to try to get it to go back on again and honestly I don't know if even the charm is going to stay on here because I can see that it's already trying to come off but I am going to fix that real quick and um, so yeah guys that is it I am on my way over to see my granddaughter and I will gift this to them at that time and see what they think. So thanks for stopping by guys. I hope you have a great Sunday evening and I will see you in my next video. Bye!